The fury of Hurricane Alex was a Category 2 hurricane when it made landfall last night. Now, a tropical storm and a weakening tropical storm with 40 mile an hour winds here in the center, but still a tropical storm. It's running over the mountains of Mexico now, and that's warming the cloud tops, kind of tearing it apart. As you can see on the infrared satellite, a lot less red there on the satellite picture, but still a massive circulation. And not only are we going to see the mountains tear this apart further and weaken it, we're also going to see it enhance the rainfall. A lot of rain left to fall from Tropical Storm Alex, not only in Mexico, but also in portions of Texas, South and West Texas, and perhaps even Central Texas as well. It's moving toward the West at 13 miles an hour on that last advisory here, uh, 40 mile an hour winds, but the massive circulation is still reaching all the way up into Texas and still helping to draw a lot of tropical moisture up into portions of Louisiana as well. There's been some heavy rain here around the Houston area, particularly south of town. Three to four inches has already fallen. And as you can see from all of the reds on the maps here, that indicates the heaviest rainfall falling on the radar and a tornado watch. Yeah, that's out until eight o'clock. There's still a tornado threat and there's still a tornado warning here uh, as well. There it is. Duval County still under a tornado warning and portions of uh, Jim Hogg County and Brook County under flash flood warnings. If all the heavy rain continues here, we could get as much as a half a foot to a foot of rainfall. And that means the river is going to be swollen, particularly the Rio Grande and all the tributaries flowing into that. Here's the projected path of Alex. 30 mile an hour winds probably by the time we get into tonight and tomorrow and then a dissipation of this circulation, but it doesn't mean the flood threat is going to be gone. The rest of the Atlantic looking pretty calm. Vivian? Okay, well let's check out the overall travel conditions for you on this Thursday.